Hey everyone, it's Jala and welcome back to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. Did you know that our fun activities focus on the subjects of science, history, math, and even the arts? In today's activity, we are going to be learning about sheep and more importantly, cotton sheep. But before we get into that, let's go over some quick vocabulary words. So, our first word is gonna be lamb. And a lamb is a young sheep that is under one year of age. Okay, so that's just a baby sheep. Next, we have wool. And the wool is the fur that surrounds the sheep, all their hair and that really fluffy stuff that is called a sheep's wool. Or it also could be known as a fleece. Next, we have the word ram, and ram is basically a male sheep. We also have an ewe, and an ewe is a female sheep. So we have ram, male sheep, and an ewe, female sheep. Then we have a shepherd, and a shepherd is someone who gathers all the sheep and basically guides them to where they need to go and cares for them. Okay, now let's get into this really fun activity. Bye guys. Hey guys, it's Mercedes and today I will be showing you how to make these sheeps. Um, they're really, really small and cute. You can make them whatever size you want, but they were really easy to make. You can probably find all the materials you need for today's activity at your home. Um, and the materials you will need today are some scissors, a pen, crayons, um, colored pencils, markers, whatever you want to decorate it. You will need some type of paper. Um, it's preferred to use cardstock just because it is a little bit stronger and will be less flimsy. However, if you don't have cardstock, that's okay. You guys can use construction paper, lined paper, um, anything you have laying around. Mine's purple on the back, but it doesn't matter. You're not even gonna see it. Um, you will need some glue and most importantly, you will need some cotton balls. And the cool part about cotton balls is that you can stretch them to um, cover more surface area. So yeah, um, I don't really know how many cotton balls you will need, but the one I did, this little small sheep that's the size of my palm, I used about 10 cotton balls, so you probably won't need much. And since they do stretch, you probably will need less. And those are all the things you will need for today's activity. And let's get started with our first step. So the first step is you're gonna wanna decide how big you want your sheep. Um, I don't, I kinda wanna make mine a little bit bigger than this one. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and draw a circle. You guys can obviously trace it to make a perfect circle. But like I said, the cotton balls will be covering basically your whole paper. So you won't even be able to see if it's a perfect circle or not. So I'm just gonna draw a circle on my paper, like so. Um, that's the size. And go ahead and cut it out. And while you guys cut out your circle, I have a joke for you guys. What is a sheep's favorite type of car to drive? I'll give you like 30 seconds to think about it. What is a sheep's favorite kind of car to drive? Keep thinking about it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have come up with an answer. Um, you guys can go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. Are you guys ready to hear the answer? What is a favorite sheep's what is a favorite what is a sheep's favorite car to drive? Well, it's a Lamborghini. Get it? The lamb, like a sheep like a lamb, Lamborghini. <laughs> it's pretty funny to me. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little joke I had for you guys. Maybe later on I'll tell you another joke. Once you have cut out your circle, as you can see, mine isn't perfect, but um, yeah, 
I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start putting glue all over the circle. Um, just go ahead and add the glue. You guys can use um, a glue stick too. It will go faster because, you know. But you guys can also use a popsicle stick and put glue and just like, you know, paint it on there with a paintbrush. But I'm just going to pour glue on here and spread it around. Once you have a good amount of glue on there, I covered my whole circle with glue. You probably can't see it because the glue is white and the paper is white. You're gonna go ahead and get your cotton balls and start gluing them on there. So, oh, it's kind of flimsy, but oops. Go ahead and just stick it on there and just keep covering up your sheep or your circle with cotton balls. And like I said, you guys can stretch them out and glue it on there and it will um, cover more surface area and while we glue down our cotton balls to our um, to our circle I have another joke for you guys what is a sheep's favorite vacation destination like where does a sheep like to go on vacation I will give you guys I will give you guys until I finish gluing down my cotton balls to my circle so go ahead and think about it where is a sheep's favorite place to go on vacation? Think I just need to put one more cotton ball until I'm done. Think about where is a sheep's favorite place to go on vacation. I'm done gluing down my cotton balls. That was really, really easy. And it took me like a minute to do it. So while I was gluing down my cotton balls, I asked you guys to think of where a sheep's favorite place to go on vacation is and I hope you guys commented on this live stream, but a sheep's favorite place to go on vacation is the Bahamas. The Bahamas, get it? Cause sheep go ba Bahamas. <laughs> I'm such a jokester today. Oh my gosh, look at me. Okay, so hopefully you guys are done gluing down your cotton balls to your um, circle. Here's the back of it. You can see the cotton ball sticking out, but I'm done with mine. Hopefully you guys are done with yours. Let me count how many cotton balls I used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I ended up using 13 cotton balls, which isn't that bad because I used 10. Oh, this one almost ripped. This one is 10, so as you can see, it's upside down. It's it's a size difference, but it's still, it's still pretty good for 13 cotton balls. And like I said, you can stretch them. For the edges, I just ended up stretching mine around. As you can see. Okay, let's move on to the next um, step. So next up, we have to make the face for our sheep. You guys can obviously um, use construction paper or any color face you want to make your sheep. You guys can make it even rainbow. You can make a purple sheep. Um, a green sheep whatever you guys want but I think I'm going to color mine in but first let's make the face for the sheep so basically you're just gonna make want to make a smaller circle here's my circle and once you have your circle go ahead and draw two little circles on top of um, on top of the head for ears so they can look something like this. And once you have 
drawing it out, go ahead and cut it out. I hope you guys enjoyed my jokes. It, I thought they were funny. Hopefully you guys found them funny. Um, hopefully you guys remember my jokes so you can tell them to someone else once you finish watching this live stream. There's my head <laughs> with um, my ears, but I kind of want to make this into a purple shape, so I'm going to flip it around and there's the purple. Once you have cut out your head, go ahead and draw a face on there. I'm just going to use my pen and I'm going to draw, what face should I draw? I know, it's going to be a surprise. So go ahead and draw your face on and like I said I want to make mine into a surprise face well it's gonna be a surprise for you guys that's why I can't let you see what I'm drawing once you have I'm not gonna show you guys until the very end but once you guys are done drawing your face I drew my face on the other side once you are done go ahead and put some glue onto the back of your face so since my face is on the other side, I will glue um, glue on the white part and just add some glue. And you will want to stick it to the top. Um, I guess I'll just show you my face. So. so you will just glue it somewhere to the edge on the, let's see. If, it's, if the cotton balls are looking at you, you will glue it to your right side but, or anywhere, honestly, you can glue it on anywhere. There's the face. Now for the feet, you can decide how you want to make your feet. Um, for this one, I just did little sticks and it has four little feet. Or you can make it into like little balls, or you can make it hearts, or stars, or whatever you want. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I think I'm gonna do little balls as feet. So go ahead and cut out however, whatever shape you want your feet to be. Um, you guys can do two or four feet, but I'm gonna do the four, four legs for my sheep. Actually, no, I'm just gonna do two. So it looks like it's looking to the side, you know, okay. Okay, so I have my two legs cut out and I am just going to go ahead and glue it onto the bottom of my sheet. So I'm going to glue it to the back like so. There's one leg. Oh, it would help if I showed you the other way. So here's the back and I'm just going to take my leg and glue it on there and when you turn it around ta-da and if you guys want you guys um can look at your sheep find where like the tail would be and pull apart just a little the cotton ball a little bit out like so and your sheep will have a little tail and we are done making our little sheeps wasn't that so easy to make but oh my leg <laughs> my sheep's leg was coming off but these are the end results of the sheep this is the bigger one this is the smaller one but they were they came out really really cute um like i said you guys can decorate these however you want you guys can make them whatever color you want personalize them you the possibility are endless with these little shapes and like I said you guys can probably find all of these materials at home already and if not um, cotton balls are really inexpensive so I still have a whole bag left of cotton balls so I can probably make maybe around six more sheep if I wanted to but they're super super cute hopefully you guys enjoyed this activity 
and yeah that was my activity i had planned out for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the activity and my jokes which i'm really happy because i those jokes were really funny <laughs> and yeah that's all i have for you guys today and i will let louise um, talk more about sheep and the different types of goat not goats but sheeps that there are around the world and some cool facts that we found about them so go ahead and take it away louise thank you mercedes for showing that amazing activity on making our own little sheep plate now let's talk a little bit more about sheep now sheep are the first animals to be domesticated in which they live all around the world but there are some wild sheep that live in Central Europe, Asia, Middle East, and North America. But they mostly live in mountainous areas. Now, there are two different types of herds when it comes to sheep. So there are the males and the females. Now the males, they are called bachelor herds. They consist of five to 50 rams at the same time. Now for the females, they're called nursery herds. So they consist of five to a hundred rams at the same time. So there are two different herds that you can see if you come around with them, but be careful. So last but not least, the biggest sheep that is in the world is the Argali sheep. Now these sheep are really huge. They consist of up to 400 pounds, especially the one in Central Asia. So they consist, they are 400 pounds but at the shoulder, they are from 2.5 to 4.1 feet tall. And for the length, they could go up to 6.2 feet at the leg. So they are really big animals, as you can see here, which has really big horns. Now, those are all the facts about the sheep that we have today. So thank you for joining us today. We hope you come back soon, and we'll see you guys on the next video.